Hello, welcome to this tutorial. We're gonna look how to create three plots of lines in Blender. So we go on scripting, press new, create a new to upload the file, Python file. Now uh, this file will you you get the file from GitHub from my GitHub repo. I already have it, so it's it's only in on the video description, the GitHub repo. Um, but um, I already have to download it. So, okay. So we have here the file. First and foremost, we have to delete the light and the cube, and just leave the camera. Okay, this is very important. And now we run the file and see what happens. Ah, neat. Something is created. See where it is. We press zero on the keyboard to see the camera view, and boom, voila. We have our plot here. Things done. So, why do we need this video? You ask. Well, we need to see how to change the plot. The, we are going to learn how to change its curve. And we're going to learn how to change the axis, format the axis, and so on and so forth. So let's have a look. Uh, dig into the script. It's quite a horrible script with 400 lines. I wrote the script in a few days. Um, I wrote the script in a few days. So. Um, we have here this. What's important in the script is this part here, from line 17 to line 21, which is to change the equation, the parametric equation. So, you, I have here this line here, the equation of this line, in this interval, time interval, so zero to three seconds. With this time step, okay. But if you want to change the equation, you can change it uh, here. So this is the first point. X, Y, Z, the function of t. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it, you probably should be watching this video. Uh, so, okay. And then here, if you go down, well, let's change the axis. Let's format the axis. So let's say the easiest thing to do. We can customize this plot, of course. No, but let's have a look at the render first. Okay, so we have here the script, the we have here the image, and you can see here pretty cool this particle trajectory, the title of the plot, then the axis, the scale of the axis, and then the units, and then uh, what they represent x, y, z. Okay, so this is quite cool. Um, now we have here um, we can customize this plot. Let's try, for example. Uh, display grid. So let's try display grid instead of true, it's false. So we want to show us the grid. This is orthogonal grid, you won't show us. Let's have a look. What it, what it was. Okay, so and then we run it again. We need to delete uh, what's here because it's okay. Now we run it. Okay, we have here this plot. Uh, let's render it to see what happens. How it looks. Okay, so we have here the plot without the grid axis. Um, without the grid, so it's just the the scale, and then the, um, just this uh, y labels x tick, y tick, and z tick, and then the units in the title. Okay, cool. We can always um, set the tick to false. Don't display tick units. It is display the grid. It's also interesting to see. And also we can change the color of the axis. So let's have a look. Um, we can change the color of the axis. Um, ah, so here, color. So we can change like X, we can put color red. Let's put red for the X. And then green for the Y. And then blue for the Z. It's kind of customary color selection. And then we run it, we delete everything here. Okay, it's the same as before. And then we just have the camera, and then we delete it, and then we run it, and then we render it. See what it looks like. So, so we have here a double line and no axis ticks. So just the axis without the ticks. Now, if you want to remove the these uh, units, you can also remove them by assigning here basically removing this um, <laughs> remove this uh, the label 
and then you, you don't have any units anymore on this particular plot okay and then so you can change the, li the color of the line if you don't want the line to be the same color as the as the, the z-axis which is double of blue okay so we change the line of the uh, we change the color of the line so we can put the line like I don't know different color um, the they're in blue and we have to put something else uh, let's try it like this I don't know what it's gonna look like I don't know what it's, the line's gonna look like let's have a look uh, so let's delete what's here okay let's run it uh, render it let's see what it looks like I have no idea what the color of the line will be but it will be different ah, okay purple okay Okay, it's like Parabola Linux. There you go, so it's a plot without the, without the, um, the units and without uh, just a very simple plot, just a line. Purple, okay, let's call it purple, purple. I was hoping for orange, but okay. And that's it, that's... Um, then you can export the script more, but this is the two fundamental parts of the script. It's this one, the first one, where you change the equation line 16 to 17 and then you can customize the script here at the bottom the create access functions which create these chunks individually and that's it so if you like this work if you like the script uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel that would help me a lot and then uh, motivate me to write more scripts for more plots on blender i was uh, thinking of i have more ideas some ideas so Make sure you like and subscribe to the, to the channel and uh, start the GitHub repo, Zitori. So, <laughs> uh, thank you so much and 